welcome back it's Sean O'Kelly aka Little Bit of Sunshine hoping to brighten up your day no matter what the weather and today I'm here with a book review of Mary Simpson's book Stripped Bear and I really really enjoyed this book and I'm not just saying that right I was not the biggest fan of Marnie when she came into Geordie Shaw. I like, I was very reluctant to like her. I don't know why, I just saw her as a real like spoiled little brat kind of person and I just, there was like a lot of little behaviours she had that I didn't like and you know, I just, I don't think the show was portrayed her very well. If I'm quite honest, that's how I feel now after reading this. I don't think they like, I think they want us to think she's literally like, such a bitch do you know like that, that's the truth though but i really do feel that about georgia you know i like i'm not stupid i know i watch georgia Shaw and people think i'm stupid because i watch georgia Shaw, but i do know a lot of it is staged and they will make certain situations happen and i do get that and i guess they, they can portray people how they want to portray people so i do understand that like i've always understood that but i guess to me it could like they literally were, they seem to always pick on her, they always pick our worst moments and like they never, they never show the good side to her, I guess that has, like it's good in everyone, I do believe that, but until I read this I didn't really see the greatest of sides to her and you know, anyone who knows me knows that out of Jordy Shaw, Charlotte Crosby was probably one of my favourite people out of the show and I wasn't always the biggest fan of Marnie until she went into Celebrity Big Brother and I started to like her and ever since she's been in Celebrity Big Brother I've liked her quite a bit and now, now that the show is literally in like series and what like 15 or something and there's barely any real like characters left and she's probably now my favourite person that's in the show at the minute so when I saw she was writing a book I said I had to get it so I did and I read it in two days which you know take, it's a little bit longer than some books take me but again a lot shorter than a lot of books will take me usually you can tell I like a book if I read it in two days so two days I read it and it showed me that she was no spoiled little brat that she went through a lot of struggle you know she was not she wasn't rich her whole life if anything quite the opposite she's been on the doll a few times she has you know our mother has struggled to bring her up um, our dad wasn't was there but wasn't there at the same time there was a lot to it that I didn't know about her you know like how she got onto Geordie Shaw and how she believes that you know she only got on Geordie Shaw because she was Sophie's cousin and everything like I didn't know that like I just like I you know you kind of thought that oh she's only in it because like Sophie's cousin but I didn't think she'd say it that way and, and it was really interesting to see that she thought of it that way as well and that you know it was like a lot more negative upon herself i thought she'd be like a very conceited young woman and i thought she'd be like oh my life's deadly i get to do this and that but you know she talked a lot about the hardships in her life and about all the things she's come to struggle with and like how how much bad luck she's kind of had and i really enjoyed that aspect of it and that i don't read many autobiographies but i guess this is another one that i've enjoyed and like i, I kind of found it a bit inspiring that you know she was struggling a lot and she was so desperate, so willing, she threw herself into like doing Jordy Shaw because she wanted the life that her cousin had, she wanted what Sophie had, she saw how great Sophie's life was and she wanted that for herself and like she fully admits that that's what she did, she wanted what Sophie had and she always did as a kid and she like she's so honest and open about that and I just think it's really beautiful to actually see pure honesty, pure clearness about like that kind of thing and She's very honest about like relationships and like love and how she's cheated and things like that. Like she's so honest in it. It's and like how she doesn't like people or how she does like people or literally so so honest in it. And I, it it's really refreshing because you know other people would be like, oh yeah, I still love that person. She's like, no, I hate them. Like I disliked them. They were mean to me. Like they were, you know, she did this, he did that. You know, and she's very very honest. And I, I love how honest she can be about it. And she's had very, very little, like, not repercussions, I'm going to say, but, you know, they, she's been honest. And I guess you can't really fault somebody for being honest. I don't think you can, anyway. So that's why I really enjoyed it. It's genuine. It was so, so real. So honest. Um, another part of it I enjoyed, that's a little bit of a weird one and definitely not something everyone would enjoy. But I knew on Celebrity Big Brother that she had some sort of intolerant or food allergies and you know being an intolerant girl it's always nice to see other celebrities I've said this about Charlotte Crosby as well but it's always nice to know like somebody else out there has a fully functioning life and can be successful and great but have food restrictions and I don't know 
<laughs> Jenny refreshes to me, but she actually has kind of got more than me. Um, she has gluten, dairy, cashews, yeast, and something else. I can't remember all, but she had like carrots, I think it was. It was some vegetable anyway. I did something like five or six, so I was like, oh really? That like that's actually really interesting. I'd probably watch about an hour of her talking about that to be honest. <laughs> but I think that's just genuinely down to me being like like the situation I'm in in life and like but I guess there is a lot of women out there with, and men with intolerances and we all I guess find it interesting in some way or another to see like what other people are going through and how other people cope with it and how other people deal with it. I love seeing that kind of aspect of it. But um, not everyone does, I guess that. Like, if it doesn't affect you, you're obviously not gonna care. But I do care, I find it interesting. But um, she talks a lot about like her plastic surgery and other surgeries that she's gone through. Like, I think she said lipo and all. And like how, she, as I say, she's pure honest. She, do, she doesn't hold back, like. And I kind of loved that. I, I kind of loved the fact that, you know, it wasn't sugarcoated, it was just plain honest and pure and it was really easy to read and you know I'm not saying like it was like simple but like it was easy enough to read like there was nothing complex about it there was nothing like particularly difficult about it and as I said I read it in two days so it wasn't particularly hard to read kind of similar to Charlotte's like as in it didn't take me a long time to read hers either but two completely different author worlds because they're two completely different individuals and one is always seen as everybody's favourite, which is like Charlotte. Charlotte's always seen as everyone's favourite, and you know, Marnie isn't. Marnie's never seen as anybody's favourite, and she kind of talks about that in the book. Like, you know, everyone always like doesn't pick me as their favourite. You know, when she went into Celebrity Bro Big, 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 Celebrity Big Brother, you know, all the Geordie Shore people won, like, came first until she went into it, and she came second or third, I think it was. And it was because she's, she's, she feels she's never people's favourite, and I kind of get that. I kind of get that feeling that like, you know, not that you're second best, but you feel second best to a lot of people. And I have to say, after reading this and, you know, thinking a bit more about it, I'm kind of starting to like her slightly more than Charlotte Crosby and I never thought I would say that. I genuinely didn't, but I don't know. I feel like I relate more to Marnie in a lot of ways than I would Charlotte. Like Charlotte has her mum or dad or brother, whereas Marnie, grew up with her mum which was the majority of my life and then her mum got married and like so did my mum so there's a lot of like relativity there and there's a lot of relatable like kind of stuff and that's why I kind of liked it. I found it extremely relatable to myself anyway. I don't know if other people will feel that way, they probably won't but to me it was extremely relatable, extremely raw and honest and I really really enjoyed it so I totally recommend you picking up this book and giving it a read. So thumbs up for me and I'll see you all again soon. If you have any book recommendations for me, leave them down in the comment box. I do have about 10 or 12 to read at the minute from the library but I don't do book reviews on every single one because I think I'd probably end up boring it but I do like to take the ones that I've really enjoyed and put them on YouTube. So the, like that's what I've done. Any books that I've put onto this channel I've, been to I've like totally enjoyed and I feel like I have to share them with people. So that's what I try and do. Or at the minute, like I'm reading one that I'm not enjoying, and I feel like I should really like not bash the book, but talk about why I don't enjoy it and why I don't believe in it. But um, there is other books I want to read. Like I have got Gary V's Crushing It ordered on the library. So as soon as that comes, I will be reading that and doing a book review. But I'm, as I said, I have like nine upstairs to read. So after all them, if you have any. Leave them down in the comment box and I'll see if I haven't already read them, I'll probably read them for you. So I'll see you all again soon and bye!